with Wichita schools set to consider asking the public for another $450 million after closing six buildings. Would you vote for it? KSN's Craig Andrus is looking into what it takes to sell you on the bond idea. A lot of you say you want more information, and that's why the school leaders say they put it up. The plan is up for the public to see starting today on their website. But $450 million, that's a big ask to see if it'll go. Well, I talked to former school board members for some perspective. I don't know much about it, but I would want to know a lot more before I got behind something like that. So it's a lot of money. On the heels of closing and consolidating, USD 259 now asking for your feedback on the facility's master plan. And by June 27, the board could consider another $450 million with a new bond to build and consolidate more. I did serve on the board during the last bond issue, and it is a challenge um, because the community really wants to know what is your long-range goal? Betty Arnold explains it takes time to sell a big bond to the public that can be skeptical. That's going to be a big question. Uh, you know, how can we uh, close buildings and then you say you need to build new ones? You simply just have to help them understand why the current situation is not working. We were still getting regular uh, board agendas that had emergency um, repairs on them that were substantial. Ben Blankley explains to have a billion in deferred maintenance. That's something they looked at back in 2017-18 when he was on the board. Blankley says new buildings could help with that large maintenance bill that's still building, but even though they have done listening sessions with the public and are taking feedback now, they have to engage the public even more if they want to make it work. Our city generally appreciates public education, but we're kind of all Midwestern cheapskates, and so we don't like to pay for something that we could get for less. Former board member Ben Blankley there explains this could work with no tax increase in phase one of any new bond, as the old bond would be set to expire soon after that one could be passed. But both former board members agree the public needs more information before it could be sold to voters. Here for you, Craig Andrews, KSN News 3.